you know it has been rumored that uh, the president's children are not his actual children. I have always struggled to believe that rumor, but now it is starting to sound true in my head. Because I don't understand how a president can be at peace while 21 children, 21 young boys were burnt in a dorm. He did not even care to attend that funeral. All the president did was order people to Gazette that flags be flown at half mast, that he was busy in a foreign land trying to address world leaders, while in his own country, 21 children lost their lives. Is it true that, that Nick is his son? Because he should be right about our age, if not a few years older. What empathy, as Madris asked, that men and young men and women of this country were shot down. They did not die of a protest. They were killed by police that he commands. And he has done nothing to date to ensure that the families receive justice, any sort of compensation for people who were in hospital, any sort of reprieve or justice for those families. I am beginning to doubt his parenthood. I'm beginning to doubt his empathy and his humanity. This whole hustler narrative that he has always driven, when he tries to impose something as devilish, as inconsiderate as SHIF, under that social health authority that he has forced everyone to, to register on, how do they determine how much a border border rider pays? How do they determine how much a cow owner pays? What if my cow does not, is not used for dairy? What if it is a bull? What if, I, if, if it was a gift? These people do not care for the Kenyans. And that's what we are saying for the political class. Their time is up. And we will do it together as the youth. And we will mobilize like never before. We will not be divided along tribal lines. We will not be divided along the lines of class as they always have done. And we are saying that we are now draining the swamp. We've said we are coming together to ensure that we look for justice for the people. Just the other day, a young man was sodomized in the county of Mombasa, Bruce. While we know that there is a law that if you feel that someone has insulted you or offended you, you can take them to court. But no, that administration has chosen to sodomize young boys. Now they've used guns, they've used uh, the economy, they've used health, they've used lack of education, and now they're using penetration. And we've said that now as the young people, if in a week we do not get an answer, we will drive a very concerted effort towards the county government of Mombasa. And this is a very clear warning. One, we are to the IG of police, to the national government, but specifically to the county government of Mombasa. All Kenyan youth will come to stand with our own. If you want to sodomize people, and that will be the first and last case that comes to the public limelight, or that even occurs, we will not use sexual violence upon the youth of Kenya. Again, we want to make this very clear, that we are sick and tired of this government by thugs, for thugs eh, th that does nothing to advance the agenda of the common mwananchi. We are saying that, President Ruto, your time is limited, if at all it remains. All these sh side shows that you're trying to give us, so do you want to impeach a deputy, you want to mask things, you want to address and abduct us, it will not happen. The abductions should be over. We are going to drive also a very concerted effort to end police brutality. And now if police want to deal with us the way thugs will deal with them, remember all sovereign power rests with the people of Kenya. If you want to deal with us as thugs, we'll deal with you the way we deal with thugs uh, in, in our localities. We are calling for instant reforms, but we are also saying that in the long run, we are coming up with a united front to ensure that we will drain this swamp of every ill that bedevils it. Asante.